<laughs> First of all, you got great eyes if you read everything that's on this label. It says absolute cleanliness is godliness. So you know I like that. Peace, what's up GQ? I'm Common and these are my essentials. My first item is, is my Bible. It just reminds me of what I'm here to do and what I'm supposed to do. And, and remembering God's love and, and the word of God has always been like the key to who I am. My mother sent me this, this Bible. I eventually, because I travel a lot, said I gotta get another one because I wanna keep the one that she got me just at home. So this is a, another version of what, what I originally got from my mother. I, I really take this everywhere with me um, and do my best to live it. So that's why this is definitely an essential. One of my essentials is essential. Doo -doo -doo. I grew up drinking not a lot of water. I would drink Kool-Aid, pop, or soda, as some people say. Basically everything but water. The more I started working, the more I started wanting to take care of myself, the more energy I needed. I, I would find out information about things that I could do to be healthier, to be better. I started drinking water more and more. Started feeling more and more like a black Superman. You understand? It really is truly one of the essentials that I, no matter where I am, I'm, you know, going to find my water. Essential is one of the brands that I really like. I try to get two to three bottles in a day. A lot of people that know me be like, why is this dude going to the bathroom that much? When you're drinking that much water, it happens. Now this, Palo Santo. If you smell this, then you know common is somewhere in the area. I'll be like in a building, like about to do a speech or do some, um, something important, a performance. And I like the Palo Santo. Now what Palo Santo means is holy wood. And it comes from somewhere in South America. And I honestly just got on the Palo Santo maybe a year and a half, two years ago. I started using it and man, I, I'm, I'm like into it. It's just, it's, it brings in good energy and removes the bad energy. I'll be on Zoom meetings and the smoke be going up. And I'll be like, I know they think I'm smoking right now, but I'm not smoking, it's Palo Santo. So, that's how you smell it, you know I'm around. Green drink. You know, some people do coffee. This is my coffee. It has cucumber, seasonal greens, kale. This has coconut water too. Um, lime and spirulina. Man, I'm, I'm all into it. I'll be like on set and because I can't eat a meal, I'll drink this and this this is like me having my coffee. In fact, I'm gonna drink a little bit now. Now, my, my next item is Dr. Bronner's. I love it. I use it, you know, as in for showers and baths, but I also use it you know, just for, you know, washing my hands. They've been around making this soap since 1858. It's pretty crazy, but it's some good soap. She says, teach the moral ABC that unites all mankind. But it's also like godliness. I like, you know, when people put almost like affirmations on their products. It's something about that that I, I dig. And um, yeah, and it's um, natural. Like it's, it's not, it ain't got all that BS in it, so. I love Dr. Bronner's. What's an essential if you don't have snacks? You have to have some snacks. They taste like potato chips. Listen, I'm vegan, so I eat pretty healthy overall. Um, so even when I'm eating these cassava chips, I feel like it ain't like, it's not the worst of the worst. They gluten-free, they vegan, whatever. But they good. I get these to people who eat everything and they like, Damn, these are good. And they got different flavors too. My, my favorite is sea salt. I've drank a lot of wine. For some reason, you drink wine and then you start getting hungry. I wake up in the morning, chips is all on the couch. But that's life. These are cassava chips. <laughs> candles just create a vibe. I use candles in, in the studios. Um, I have candles in my dressing rooms, I have candles um, in my home. 
candles, you know, I love lighting candles. It's something that that is just, I don't know, it has an energy to it, a spirit to it. I have a candle, you all can't see it. I'll bring another candle in. It's lit right here. It says peace and tranquility. You know, I'm the candle man. A lot of my essentials, as you can see, um, kind of fall under like positive affirmations and energy, like progress, joy, love, and creativity. Um, things that I, you know, want to base my life in. So I always keep these candles. I got one behind me that says abundance. Like I, I light them all the time. So this is like my lotion. This cream is, is almond cookie. And I know it sounds like for some men, you might feel like almond cookie. You think I'm gonna wear almond cookie? Well, let me tell you, women definitely enjoy my smell. And part of it is this almond cookie, all right? So don't trip. Anyway, I love it. It's necessary, it's an essential. Like it's times when I'm doing photo shoots with my ankles showing. Can't have ashy ankles, man. Few people notice that, yeah, they do and be like, damn, dude is ashy. I make sure that I'm straight with this, keep it fresh, and I take it everywhere. Now, you wondering what this is. It was one time last year where I lost my voice and I needed to be recording, but my voice was gone for like a week and a half, two, two weeks. The ear, ear, nose, and throat specialist told me, hey, I have a vocal coach you need to go to. She will help you get your, your vocal back. And she said, look, this is something I give to my vocalists to, to do before their performances. Um, it kind of clears out your vocal cords and like, you know, allows you to perform vocally at your best. It worked. I was like, yeah, this is all right. She usually does it with singers, use it as a straw to, to like hit notes. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, and it opens your vocals up also. My voice is an instrument, so I take care of that instrument now. So now, even when I'm not dealing with any type of vocal issues, I go out there like a professional. Some MCs is like, man, that ain't hip hop. Yes, it is hip hop. Hip hop goes where we go. <clears throat> I'm talking about it in my voice, so I need to be clear. He's like, yeah. He's like, man, you need to try a new technique, huh? This is one of my routines. It's an essential. It's a wellness shot. I take this immunity like shot because, man, that immune system, especially traveling a lot and being around a lot of people, or just in general, like our immune systems, we want them to be at full capacity. Um, this one has ginger, bee pollen, cayenne, and, and little orange juice, and turmeric. Oh yes. Oh man, turmeric is one of the best things you can have. It. And it's, you know, it's one of those things when somebody first tried, they like, man, what a, like, but eventually you, you become acclimated and it's, you know, it's normal. <laughs> it, it just is. Another essential is to have a vegan chef. We call her Cam. Kamichia is an incredible chef, um, very talented. She's from Houston, so she cooks vegan food, but it's really like, I have a variety of foods. I'm eating good stuff. Like I'm eating really good. She'll do like a cheese steak, a vegan cheese steak, like vegan fried chicken. But then, you know, I also just eat some regular sandwiches and Good, good food, man, this is good. Simple as that, and it's clean. And, um, so I'm eating good and, and it's still, I don't be like laid out as soon as I eat, like, cause I like to eat. At a certain point in my life, I decided to eat, you know, vegan. And I'd rather invest in myself, like in my wellness, than to go out there and just get three cars and well, five cars and, you know, some stuff that I don't really, me, like I'd rather feel good and eat good than just have you know some material things that don't mean as much to me. And it's reinvesting and taking care of myself and enjoying good food. All right, GQ, this is Common. Those are my essentials. Y'all know my credentials. Peace.